to another week in the life. I am currently on my anesthesia rotation and guys, I'm having so much fun. Yesterday, I got to put in a subcutaneous heparin shot and I got to put in the OPA and mask the patient um, before they intubated and hopefully cross our fingers. It'd be pretty cool if I got to intubate today or tomorrow. Um, I've been working a couple days, two of the three days now with a senior resident. So he, they are more likely to like just give you things to do because they're senior and they're gonna be on their own soon. Whereas like the first year anesthesia residents, like, you know, they're learning too, like a lot. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get stuck with the senior uh, a lot for today and tomorrow, seniors, and um, the attending that really likes to teach yesterday. They taught me so much, it's been so fun, guys. Psych is out, anesthesia is in. I have like an inkling where, I keep talking to people and they choose psych and I'm like, oh, I'm interested in surgery. I need to do procedures. Like I have to do hands-on. And they're like, oh yeah, I was the same way. But then I ended up doing psych because X, Y, Z. So I started in my head, I was like, hmm, maybe psych is higher on the list. But now that I've started anesthesia and there's so many procedures and so many things, I'm like, oh dang. Yeah, no, I gotta pick something with the procedures. This is so cool. Anyway, I gotta go. I'm gonna be on time. We have lectures at 7 a.m. And I can't wait to show you the last two days of my anesthesia rotation. <laughs> It's 12.23 and already the end of the day. I had another fabulous day of learning from a senior resident who probably thinks I'm just completely an idiot at this point because I don't know a lot of what he asked me, but I really, really like learning from him and learning a lot of new things, or at least like conjuring up things from first year that I have forgotten. <laughs> um, so yeah, been it's been really early days all week which is really nice because of the psych shelf coming up so right now i'm just packing up my things and i'm gonna head straight to starbucks and finish my uo questions for the day this is me totally getting in the zone at starbucks the only downside being it's freezing i always get so cold being at the starbucks in the winter time now but i still was able to focus and ta-da i finished all my psych you wrote questions which is so exciting because it's december 8th which means i'm 12 days away so like finishing my you wrote questions that early it just makes me makes me feel good <laughs> And now I'm just going to review my flashcards, which I've been really, really bad about actually doing. When I study for my next shelf, which is surgery, I'm gonna use Anki again, but whatever. Like I said, I'm still 12 days away, so for the next 12 days at least, I'll be a little bit better about doing these flashcards. <laughs> it's six, I don't wanna get up. Neither does Oakley, but she doesn't have to. Look at my hair, I look like a, one of those troll kids with the blue hair. But I'm gonna get up. I gotta leave in 10 minutes. It's fine. All my clothes are set out. I didn't go to the gym because I'm tired and because there was a lot of bike and thrusters and I was scared. But today's my last day of anesthesia and I'm so sad. I love it so much. I really love it. I had a chat with the um, resident yesterday about like specialty and like what to think about. And guys, it's gonna be a while before I'm able to narrow down one thing. Currently, like truly like the thought of doing C-sections is the top of mind for me. Like, I want to do C-sections. OB is, ooh, that residency is intense from what I've heard, which it's only four years though, which in my mind doesn't sound bad. And then there's anesthesia, which has a ton of procedures, so many procedures. And like, one thing, the interesting thing that I've learned on rotations is like, you know, like, I don't know if anybody follows me for pre-med content, but when I'm talking about personal statements, one of the things that I talk about in takeaways is like be specific to doctor and talk about like how they have the autonomy and they're making the care plans and like um, they're making like the decisions and doing things, blah, blah, blah. Like that's kind of whatever. Interestingly, like a pediatrician, like I, when I was on my peds rotation, they will order a drug and like the nurse gives it. They don't even have access to the med room. Attending was explaining to me like a lot of specialties will either order it and somebody else gives it and the pharmacist approves it and like blah, 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 blah. Or, like, somebody else orders it and, like, they give it or something. I don't know. But in anesthesia, you sit there, you pull it out of a drawer, you push the bed. <laughs> it 
which is pretty cool. Like autonomy wise, isn't somebody who wants to like make the decisions and have the immediate gratification of like, oh, I, I think we should give them this. And then I give them this. Like that's something that's really cool and sticks out to me. Wow. I look bad. Sorry guys. It was just so cute. If I was going to talk to you, I was like, I might as well. <laughs> well, Oakley looks really cute. I don't think you guys have ever seen Oakley like this in the morning with the lights on. So anyway, and then I talked about how ortho, it has the worst freaking stereotype ever, but I don't care. I'll be the one ortho surgeon who's cool and doesn't wear cowboy boots to the operating room. Guys, I think that's so weird. Why is that a thing? <laughs> and apparently he was like, ortho residents work like 90 to 100 hours a week. Which is fine because last year I went to a thing with, we have an orthopedic surgeon, women, ortho, oh, women group, I don't know. But we met with them and chatted and one girl was like, I know I'll be this way. She's like, when I was a med student, I had a chill eight to four family med rotation and I hated my life. And then I had an insane schedule when I was an ortho elective and I was obsessed and I was so happy to go to the hospital. Like that would be me if I like knew like, okay, this is my place. Like with OB, like that's me. Like, I don't care that I do nights only for OB labor and delivery. Like otherwise I would hate my life. So, but also ortho is too competitive and I don't know that I have the motivation in me to be that competitive. And then ortho, anesthesia, OB. I, honestly, I think those are my top three. Basically, those are the same top three other than like it used to be emergency medicine instead of anesthesia, but now I like the idea of anesthesia more than emergency medicine. Okay, this was a long tangent. Gotta go. Get ready. Last day of anesthesia. Yay, Oakley, let's go. Come on, let's go. Do you want to go outside? Searching for solutions in the silence But I'm here I'm here Holy freaking moly, guys. I am over the freaking moon right now. Oh my gosh. I just intubated the patient. I'm so excited. As you can see, I was like literally shaking. I was so excited. He like told me going into it that he would let me finally intubate. And he used the little tool that like has the camera. So it was a little easier and I did it and it was just awesome. It was awesome. Best way ever to end anesthesia. And now off to do some more Starbucks studying. <laughs> Got a dopamine rush, got a major league crush when you're next to me. Got my heart up on my sleeve, can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl? special about